Despite a case of growing prominence, the adoption of cryptocurrencies has faced hurdles in countries like the UK due to regulatory and environmental concerns. To this end, Ripple submitted a written evidence document to the UK Parliament discussing the benefits of XRP and crypto to the country. In a recent tweet, Edward Farina, head of social adoption at XRP Healthcare, called the attention of the XRP community to the document, highlighting its prominence in the grand scheme. Despite the document being dated September 2022, it highlights the efforts at communication between Ripple and the UK government regarding XRP and crypto adoption and their potential benefits to the country's economic and financial standing. In the document, Ripple acknowledged the efforts put in by the UK authorities in regulating the nascent crypto industry. These efforts include the Crypto Asset Engagement Group proposed by the HM Treasury and the Financial Services and Markets Bill. The bill, introduced by the Parliament in July 2022, received royal assent on June 29, 2023. Ripple further shared insights into the rudiments of blockchain and crypto assets. The company highlighted XRP as the native token of the XRP ledger, XRPL. It emphasized the asset's independence from Ripple Labs as a company. Ripple then pointed out the potential benefits of XRP and other cryptocurrencies to the UK. These benefits span both economic and social aspects. From an economic standpoint, crypto and XRP have the potential to make financial transactions more affordable, faster, and more secure. This improves the existing financial framework offered through traditional means. Moreover, the emergence of the crypto sector creates an entirely new industry that aligns with the UK strengths in tech and finance. This presents opportunities for firms with novel business models to flourish, contributing to the overall growth of the UK's economy. Ripple is already making efforts to expand its reach in the UK. In April, Stuart Alderity, the firm's general counsel, disclosed the company's plans to grow the business in London. On the social front, crypto holds the promise of improving financial inclusion across the country. They can benefit the 1.2 million unbanked individuals lacking access to essential financial services. Ripple emphasized the importance of a comprehensive regulatory framework for the crypto industry in the UK. While acknowledging the country's existing fintech success, infrastructure, and talent, Ripple highlighted the need for regulatory clarity to overcome the biggest obstacle UK crypto businesses face, uncertainty. The lack of a holistic regulatory framework creates an environment where market participants may hesitate to innovate, restricting investment and impeding the expansion of operations. Ripple highlighted the eco-friendly characteristics of XRP, underscoring its minimal environmental impact. They acknowledged the energy consumption linked to blockchain technology and emphasized the need to address this concern. Ripple noted its strategic collaborations with EnergyWeb and the Rocky Mountain Institute to drive the process of decarbonizing blockchains, beginning with the XRP ledger. Ripple has made a firm commitment to attaining carbon neutrality by 2030 or even earlier. Additionally, Ripple actively supports the Crypto Climate Accord. This initiative aims to curtail the environmental impact of cryptocurrencies and foster a sustainable global financial ecosystem. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. John Deaton, the founder of Crypto Law, has taken to Twitter to express his view on the announcement that the San Francisco-based blockchain technology firm Ripple has won the first ever award for the best sustainability initiative for digital currency regarding CBDCs. In his response, Deaton highlighted the remarkable accomplishment of Jask Aaron Cambo, founder and CEO of Spend the Bits payment platform, and his company Spend the Bits Inc. While acknowledging Ripple's feat of securing the CBDC award for a fintech company, Deaton drew attention to the CBDC interoperability contest organized by Ripple. It attracted a staggering 500 contestants, with Cambo and his team emerging victorious. Notably, the prominent lawyer is merely calling attention to a more remarkable feat attained by Spend the Bits, given that the firm is a crypto payment mobile app that operates on the XRP ledger, XRPL. For context, Ripple sponsored the CBDC Innovate Challenge in 2022, where developers were encouraged to build CBDC applications using Ripple's technology. Spend the Bits was the winner in the interoperability category. Interestingly, Deaton believes that Cambo and Spend the Bits Incorporated would continue their winning streak in the upcoming cross-border interoperable CBDC payments contest. This prediction by Deaton, coming in response to Ripple's recent accolade, serves as a testament to the growing recognition and competitive spirit surrounding CBDC initiatives. 
Spendabit CBDC initiative includes a dedicated platform empowering governments to issue, monitor, transfer, and securely manage CBDC tokens and transactions. It also has STB mobile and merchant app that enable individuals and merchants to integrate into the CBDC ecosystem. Furthermore, the firm has an STB exchange portal to facilitate cross-currency exchanges for CBDC to CBDC and CBDC to crypto. Notably, Ripple has made significant contributions to make the ground fertile for CBDC adoption. Two months ago, the firm launched a new CBDC platform for top financial institutions and governments to administer their digital coins. Furthermore, no fewer than five countries are carrying out CBDC trials using Ripple's solution. Ripple has also engaged in active discussions with the International Monetary Fund about CBDCs. With the upcoming contest on the horizon, the stage is set for Spendabits Incorporated to demonstrate its prowess in cross-border interoperable CBDC payments, as predicted by John Deaton. Furthermore, recently, Ryan Selkies, the CEO of Messari, a top crypto market intelligence firm, took to Twitter to share his insightful 95 theses about crypto for the second half of 2023. In his analyses, Selkies emphasized the profound impact of the legal battle between Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission on non-Bitcoin digital assets and their trading within the United States. Hinting at an impending ruling in the Ripple versus the SEC lawsuit, Selkies mentioned the significance of Stuart Alderity, the chief legal officer, CLO, at Ripple, recognizing him as one of the most influential lawyers in crypto. With the legal battle poised to shape the future of the crypto industry, Selkies underscored Alderity's role as a key figure in the ongoing lawsuits of 2023. If 2023 is the year crypto sued the government, then Stuart Alderity is the most important lawyer not named, Selkies remarked. Messari CEO further said that Ripple vs. SEC case outcome will shape non-Bitcoin digital asset trading in the U.S. ruling imminent. He said the ruling may come soon. Notably, Alderity has been a vocal critic of the U.S. SEC, filing motions and briefs that argue that the lawsuit against Ripple lacks merit. In a recent interview, he made it known that he would immediately file an appeal should the U.S. judge grant victory to the SEC. Furthermore, Alderity was part of the forces that saw to the ultimate release of the Hinman emails, a crucial piece in the ruling of the Ripple v. SEC case. Experts have argued that the multi-year case could end in August 2023. Furthermore, Selkies brought attention to other notable individuals who would play pivotal roles in the second half of the year. He commended Paul Grewal, the CLO of Coinbase, for leading the charge and advocating for the crypto community within the United States. Selkies believed that Grewal's efforts could serve as a crucial stronghold until the 2024 U.S. presidential election, after which the industry's trajectory would largely rely on the decisions made by the courts and Congress. Now to the big question of the day. Does the final ruling on LBRY call for concerns for Ripple and XRP? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. The recent final ruling on the LBRY case by Judge Paul Barbadoro has sparked concerns within the XRP community regarding the forthcoming decision in the SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit. Despite the victory for the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, in the LBRY case, the judge's decision did not explicitly classify LBRY's token LBC, as a security or provide any clarity on its status. This lack of clarity has created apprehension among XRP proponents, as they fear a similar outcome for Ripple, with the security status of XRP left unresolved. In the LBRY case, the SEC successfully argued that LBRY Incorporated conducted unregistered securities offerings violating the Securities Act. The court granted the SEC's motion for an injunction and imposed a civil penalty on LBRY. However, Judge Barbadoro did not rule on whether LBC itself should be considered a security. This omission has led to criticism from pro-XRP attorneys who question the market guidance provided by the ruling and its potential impact on future regulatory decisions. Drawing parallels between the LBRY case and the SEC's ongoing lawsuit against Ripple, some legal experts express concerns about the potential outcome and the lack of clarity surrounding XRP's security status. Attorney Jeremy Hogan, known for his analysis of the Ripple case, highlights that a similar result is possible for Ripple. However, he emphasizes that the court must find the fair notice defense insufficient for a trial and establish that past and present XRP sales qualify as investment contracts to justify injunctive relief. 
If granted, the injunctive relief sought by the SEC could pose significant challenges for Ripple as it may affect the company's ability to sell XRP from its escrow. Attorney Hogan suggests that while the LBRY ruling silence on secondary market sales may be viewed as maintaining the status quo, it fails to address the confusion within the marketplace. As a result, Hogan believes exchanges such as Coinbase that have delisted the asset would not relist it, and those who have retained support would not delist it. This lack of clarity for LBC leaves many XRP community participants uncertain about the asset's future. Attorney Bill Morgan shares similar concerns, stating that the LBRY case did not offer market guidance or clarify the classification of the LBC token as a security. Attorney Morgan highlighted that Judge Barbadoro ignored the major questions doctrine in the case. He worries that Judge Annalisa Torres, presiding over the Ripple case, may sidestep the issue of XRP's security status, similar to Judge Barbadoro. Despite acknowledging a slightly higher chance of addressing the matter than Judge Barbadoro, Morgan emphasizes the potential risk that the ruling might fail to provide much-needed clarity to the market. Attorney John Deaton, who represents over 75K XRP holders in the Ripple case, also shares his disappointment with Judge Barbadoro's cautious approach in the LBRY ruling. Deaton had specifically requested the judge to clarify that the LBC token itself should not be classified as a security, similar to the stance taken by Judge Kastel in the Telegram case. However, Judge Barbadoro declined to address the issue, stating that it had not been litigated in the case and that he believed in exercising judicial restraint. Deaton further notes that the judge's decision to avoid the token classification issue is a missed opportunity, leaving significant ambiguity regarding LBC status. While Deaton acknowledges that the judge's decision does not directly apply to the secondary market, he finds it disappointing that the judge did not provide more assertive clarity. Despite this setback, Deaton believes that the SEC cannot argue that the ruling extends to secondary market offerings of LBC by entities not subject to the injunction. Ripple CTO David Schwartz weighed in on the LBRY ruling, emphasizing that it can be considered a victory that the judge clarified that the ordinary use of the token does not violate the injunction. Deaton agreed, highlighting that even though the judge did not explicitly state that the token itself is not the security, he noted that his order does not apply to secondary sales. Deaton noted that acknowledging the legitimate use of the token for consumption invokes the Foreman precedent, which states that securities regulations do not extend to assets obtained for consumptive purposes. As a result, Deaton implies that the SEC would lack authority in such situations. Meanwhile, the XRP community and the broader crypto scene continue to wait for the final ruling from Judge Torres on the Ripple case. Previous forecasts of the date for the final ruling have not materialized. As was reported yesterday, Schwartz previously asserted that these apprehensions are misplaced. Deaton also shares similar sentiments. According to Schwartz, a ruling could come in September. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.